it began when I was living in Boston for a few months doing an internship there um, at a hospital. And I had a long commute because I lived outside the city. And the kind folks I was staying with had a little shelf of books near the door on the way out in the morning. And I was like, oh, I've got to sit on this train for about an hour or so. Um, and by the way, this town was right next to the, the tiny little New England town on the North Shore. Um, and the little village right next to it was where John Updike lived. Though I never got to see him or meet him. It would have been unimaginable at the time anyway. But stepping out the door, I would grab one of the books on that shelf, and one of the small ones. And I remember over those months, I read uh, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man. I read uh, Old Man and the Sea. And I read uh, Catcher in the Rye. And I was 19, and that was really the beginning, I think, of my literary education. And it's f f kind of weird now to look back on that, you know, more than 15 years later, and to realize that Open City actually bears the mark of each of those three books. You know, the solitude and isolation of Old Man and the Sea, Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man for obvious reasons, and Catcher in the Rye, you know, for obvious reasons as well. Um, but I did not think about it, that until I started to, you know, tell the story that, wow, that, that was the first time I actually did any kind of close reading and be lost in the world of a book that I had chosen for my own reasons. And, and around that time then I became a different kind of reader. I became an, a, a grown-up reader of books.